Hey there, I recently released a composition course. It is one of our best selling courses, best launches we've ever had. And I have been teaching people through this process, through the course and through a free training I did as well, that you have to learn how to simplify your images. And Lightroom just made it easier to do this with a special tool and a special feature that actually works way better than I thought it would. What I'm talking about is the generative AI feature that has been added to the remove tool in Lightroom. It is awesome. It is way better than I thought it would be. I had no hopes of this being something that I could actually use, but I edited a recent engagement session where there were some little objects in the back that I couldn't crop out while I was shooting and I needed to get rid of. And it was amazing. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm using it, how it works, and we're going to try to push it to its limits to see exactly what it can handle and what it can't. I'm going to show you a simple example first. Um, when I say simple, I mean, there's a lot to work with here. So, uh, AI is going to have a lot to grab from as far as like figuring out what this object should be replaced with. So I'm obviously removing these railings. I think they're a distraction. You may think, oh, they're not that bad. It looks so much better without them. Uh, and I think it's a great example of a simple um, generative re uh, object removal option. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and click here. We're going to make sure this is selected. Okay. I'm going to check. Whoa, that's way too big. So I'm just using... Um, my left brackets here, but honestly, it'd be faster if I just did it like that. Okay, so this is pretty good. So I'm going to do that and do this. That's what I want it to remove. I feel like those are, um, the brush could have been a little bit smaller, but I think in this setting, because it's so simple, it's fine to stay as is. Uh, and then let's apply. The most negative thing about this is how long it takes, honestly. But the fact that I don't have to take this into Photoshop does say me, a lot of time. And so I'm trying not to complain about that. I, I do wish it was a little bit faster. I have heard people say that it's so slow on computers that are naturally slower. So, uh, but let's look at what it did. So, I mean, that's pretty amazing, right? Pretty amazing. I'm impressed. Um, the only thing, mm, am I impressed? Let's see. Let's delete that. No, I'm not impressed. I don't want to have that little mark right there. So let's try this again. Let's make it a little tighter on the object. Okay. And let's try this one more time and see if, if it'll get rid of it. It's almost like it mirrored this little part of um, the rail. That's a little bit better. Let's see. Ah, so much better. Um, it's just so fascinating to be kind of judging what AI decides and to see it choose something differently based on trying it a, a second time. It's but let's, let's try this with something that's more complicated. Now I've already tested some of these. Um, and so these are from 4th of, 4th of July pictures. So I'm using some personal pictures. Um, look at this of the kids. <laughs> How cute is that? That, that is why I am a huge advocate for still using your big camera and practicing being a photographer. All right. So this is the image that I wanted to show. This is um, some of our friends at the lake. Now this chair is a huge distraction. The little boy here is kind of a distraction. And also it's going to be very tricky to get rid of this chair and get rid of him. Um, this chair is kind of annoying and I could do some cropping. So let's go ahead and get this situated. I'm going to go edit it really quick. All right. So I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to go ahead and do cropping that I think like there's no need. If you've taken the composition course, you know, there's no need to have this here. Like what's the purpose of this? We have some objects, we have um, distractions. We're trying to frame up you know, the subject, this is a huge distraction. So let's get rid of that. Okay. That's a decent crop. And now we're going to kind of straighten up the horizon line as best we can make sure that right here, we don't see any of that edge. Okay. So that's a decent crop. It cleans it up so much. So now I can focus on cleaning up with generative AI and I'm going to start with this guy. So let's go here. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm going to try to stay right on the outline of the chair because when I practice this, uh, I might have gotten too far over. Um, it it saw the little piece of the little boy's head and it replaced the chair with a, a whole stack of water bottles. And I'm like, wait, why did that happen? So let's see what it does. Hey, now that is not bad. I don't love that it kept part of the towel here though. So I'm going to redo that. Okay, I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna have a smaller brush and be a little bit more precise with my edges. Okay. A little bit more precise. There we go. And perfect. Let's get rid of that. All right. So I'm being extra precise. Things like the easy example with those railings, I don't have to be quite as precise because 
there's a lot to work with. This is hard because of the angle of the dock and the lines of the boards on the dock. It still gave me a bag. Come on. And it replaced the little boy's head. Let's see if I can try this one more time. I did it before and I loved it. So I'm not sure what's happening here. Let's try again. All right, here we go. Let's see. Third time's a charm. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that's not what we want. Okay. Maybe I should expand a little bit here and not cry. You know what we're going to do? We're going to reset this all the way. And now we're going to get rid of this without cropping and see if it does what I know it can do, which is get rid of this chair with a towel. Okay. Let's try this without the crop and see if it does a better job. Come along. We can do this. Thank you. Okay. So good lesson learned. Obviously it butchered the little boy's face. So that's weird. Um, but we can fix that. I wanted the boards to be, I wanted that to happen. Now w when I crop it though, when I crop it, let's make sure that is tight. Now we don't have to worry about the end of his paddle. That's too tight. And there we go. Oh, too far, too far. Okay, so I'm gonna crop a little tighter, get rid of the edge of that post. Okay, so now we have gotten rid of that ugly thing there. Is it perfect? No, it is not perfect, I get that. But man, I, I think it's pretty, pretty close. So now we're gonna work on him separately. Get that gone. Now, is this the amount of work that I would do for every personal photo? No, no, no. I. I probably, unless I wanted to like send it to our friend and be like, Hey, this is an epic portrait. Um, or, you know, do something with it, like print it for a lake house or something. Then I would do this type of work, but like, this is excessive for just fun photos. Um, but I'm going to get rid of this guy. I'm just trying to see what it can handle. All right. Cause I got a little edge of that noodle there. Um, now if I could get rid of that noodle and it could reshape, um, like his backside, <laughs> that would be amazing. Um, why didn't it do anything there? Hmm. Hold on. Let's see if it'll do it. All right. Get rid of that chair for me so I don't have to crop. This is really kind of, mm, that didn't work well. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try it from the beginning. Now that I've tried a few things that didn't work well, I think it's because my cropping has to come later. Let's, let's see if that's true. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Let's get rid of this chair. Hopefully it will just remove the chair and the towel. And then I will remove the little boy and then the red chair. And then I might try the noodle. Now that's going to be tricky. Ah, perfect. Now that, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of this little guy here. That's going to be easy. Then we'll do the chair. So apparently, apparently cropping needs to come later. Cropping really throws this off. So, uh, lesson learned. I'm glad I could learn it with you. Let's see what this does. Come on. Hey, that's a lot better. It turned it into a noodle. That's fascinating. We got a little bit of a wave here happening with the lines, but it's not awful. Um, okay, so are we going to go for removing this guy? Ooh, I have a feeling this is not going to work. Pushing the limits a little bit too much but let's see how powerful this can be. This is truthfully going to take some AI work because it's got to know. Wow. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to redo that. I don't know what that is. What is that? I have no idea, but you know what? It's not distracting anymore. So now let's do our crop. Okay. We're going to get rid of this extra negative space that we do not need. Oh, and why is, I need to set that to lock. It's been doing that recently. Um, okay. So I'm going to get that edge. Now that Got to straighten the horizon line a little bit. Make sure this edge is not here. He's a little too close to the bottom. There we go. Okay, that image is way more impactful than this image. And all of that editing was done with generative object removal or um, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it. Generative AI, but basically it's a generative fill feature that was recently released and I really truly love it. Now that's pretty powerful. And how many things did I do? One, two, three, four. And the lesson learned from this is that you want to remove very complicated objects before you crop. 
apparently it doesn't work well to crop and then try to remove them. So that is a great lesson for me to learn. I'm going to take that as my own takeaway, and I hope that you have some takeaways as well. So I hope that was helpful. This is something that's an ongoing area of growth for me. It's learning how I want to start using AI features in my own work and in my own workflows. And so as Adobe rolls out new AI features, I'm excited to share them with you. I'm sure there's features that I am not even using that you know about. Leave them in the comments. If you have questions about some of the features that I've shared before, or maybe this one specific feature, leave those in the comments below. I'd love to figure out how I can help you grow as we continue to evolve in this industry with more advanced technology. Some of it's going to be awesome and some of it's going to be not so great. This is a feature that I was pleasantly surprised with and I hope you are as well. So if you enjoyed this, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.